initialized so number one some number one num two some one uh, we in we initialize and we used an scanner object for the two numbers first number and second number i have should have to correct the uh, mistake then we used loop for the for having two tables not in front but inside of the computer then by, uh, for completing this uh, whole logic that we needed an if statement and want to print out if this pair is in, or is amicable or not run it as a java application okay it is giving enter the first number i am going to write 220 and then enter the second number i will write 284 because we know that this is an amicable pair it would give the result after hitting s this is an amicable pair we will run it as run it again run it again it is asking enter the first number just give the random numbers not an amicable pair 45 and 89 are the, not the amicable pair so problem statement one complete now we will move to next problem statement that say that says write a program to replace all zeros with one in a given integer also given an integer as an input all the zeros in the number has to be replaced with one so you can understand it by the example consider the following number input equals to 102405 so output would be 112415 you can see all zeros are replaced with the number one another example input equals to 56004 so definitely it would have the output 56114 all zeros are replaced with number one this is what we have to do this is a simple program so we will go to hello world package and then we will create a new class then we will write the class name 01 and ok i will declare two variables as a int data type that is tnum and tnum and number user will be giving the input so i will create a scanner object scanner s equals to a new scanner system dot in after that i will ask the user to enter the number double inverted commas terminator then i will say number equals to sc dot next int curly circular braces close also i will import the scanner package then i will say tnum equals to number this is for the single number where tnum would be the number where the value of the number will be stored and number is the variable for the similar number when where, which will be used for the operation purpose also i would say that result is a variable which is an integer right now it is equals to zero or initialize it, initialize it with zero with that i will say decimal place will be a variable it will start from number one so i will say if number equals to zero for the single decimal place value so result equals to result plus one into decimal place till here you can pause the video and understand it if we give here zero as a number then it is equals to equals to zero yes it is right inside the if statement and say that result will be equals to result plus one into decimal place so result right now is zero plus one into decimal place decimal place is one in itself so it will it will convert zero into one if the number is an string then what we can do is we can give we can give a while loop number is greater than zero if a string of number is greater than zero then just read just read these statements after this i will explain all this if number mod 10 equals to equals to zero 
then the statements inside it result which is 0 equals to result plus 1 into decimal place what we have written above why I am writing I will explain you afterwards just remember this what I am doing here number equals to number upon 10 and decimal place equals to decimal place into 10 one way we are um, dividing it one way we are multiplying it then we will say that t num equals to t num plus number in the place of number I would write result because number will not be the value or I just just should